crossroads I could drive on or go left, go right Suddenly these choices make me smile What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance For every break you get You leave another one behind Just as long as you keep trying You will get there This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was Kay, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but There you go, another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. How did it feel to be up there? It was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. But it feels good, you know? That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. I promise you'll keep in touch, whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh.
I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Case place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, You've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? Honestly, no. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. I guess I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up, and plotting that out for the rest of your life? Huh, I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. That's uncharacteristically deep. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the angels just like you said and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you gonna do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane, 
Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. So, if you're leaving, what's going to happen to the sea turtle? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? You could leave it in storage here, or put it up for sale. Give it to someone else who will use it. Are you hinting at something, Lori? Well, you can store it at our place if you want. We have enough space. Or I might use it to hide from my parents every once in a while. You know what? You can have it. What? Really? Oh, wow! That's so rad. Yeah, imagine that. Have fun with it, Lori. You'll get much more use out of it than I ever could, probably. All right, this is going to be fun. Hey, Meredith, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. Me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. See you around. Wagons West. So, here we are again, heading the other way. Aren't you going to miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, wait, no, two million bucks should be enough. Do you believe money can buy happiness? That's a good question. Give me a big pile of cash right now and I'll feel real happy. And I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll probably start to wear off and I'll be back to complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you lunatic! Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling over. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran. But, uh, what's all this about? It's not about you, Frank. I need to talk to Meredith. Oh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. This is gonna sound super awkward, and hopeless, and desperate, and probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I've made up my mind about this. I'm leaving P.L. Yeah, okay, yeah. I sorta of, kinda of figured you'd say that. Well, I don't know what to say to you now. I guess there's nothing left to say. I better get back to work again. Take care. Thanks, Robert. And let me know if the apartment troubles start again. Okay, Meredith. Let's get you to the airport. I've got a double shift today, and the mail doesn't deliver itself. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. 